Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 20th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Little More Light, Part 1, and our scripture is Isaiah, Chapter 1. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Albert Outler was a Methodist scholar who in 1964 first coined the phrase Wesleyan quadrilateral. He understood John Wesley to have a system of understanding God through four connected sources available to humans, scripture, tradition, reason, and experience. Of the Wesleyan tribe, the United Methodist Church is one descendant that still, in various degrees, holds to this theological approach, which is laid out quite clearly in its book of faith and practice, The Discipline. Quote, Wesley believed that the living core of the Christian faith was revealed in Scripture, illuminated by tradition, vivified in personal experience, and confirmed by reason. Scripture, however, is primary, revealing the Word of God so far as it is necessary for our salvation. End of quote. For the next couple of days, I'd like for us to talk about these as a means of doing theology, the human activity of thinking about God. And while Scripture is primary, supreme in Wesley's words, we begin today with reason. The founding fathers of this nation were men of strong reason. Among the most respected was James Madison. Although a man of genuine belief in God and a man who painstakingly applied himself to conforming his life to integrity and morality and obedience to godly principles, Madison's intellectual prowess sometimes stood as a roadblock to accepting that there is something beyond human reason upon which we must count for interpreting Scripture, the words of God. It was not until later in life James Madison finally came to accept the fact that reason, if rested firmly in faith and without doubt in Scripture, would be vivified in experience and validate conforming to the tradition of the church. In other words, it would all fit together. In a letter to his good friend, David Hume, Madison wrote this, Reason can only take us so far. It is mystery arising from the darkness of the human sight. And Hume replied, The whole is a riddle, an enigma, an inexplicable mystery. In doing theology, thinking about God, Madison and Hume understood correctly that life's mystery is chiefly not understandable, merely in the human capacity to explore our human social environment and evident life in this universe. Without revelation from God, or mystery, human reasoning has earthbound limitations. So, what is the importance then of reasoning? In concert with human personal experience, the whole of humanity, not just one or a few individuals, and the tradition of the church, the doctrine concerning God, reason's task and possibility is to respond to the faith God places within each of us in examining the culture in which we find ourselves. Given that, reason helps us apply God's truth to bending that culture back to God. It is godly reason, informed by tradition and experience, with which we evangelize our environment. Reason, born of faith, sheds a little more light on our purpose, which is loving God and each other, and the pathway of the journey towards our eternal home. For you today, letting God shed light on your reasoning, that's reasonable. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.